Yeah, we know that this series, ultimately, the way the two teams play and the competitiveness and the similar styles uh, probably go the distance, if not really close. So um, got to come in here, win one game. Um, you know, a split's a great thing for us, get home ice back. I think that's all we got to think about right now. Are you worried at all about, like, how infrequent the goals are coming for your group? No, I don't think so. They're coming the same as them, too. Um, take out the empty netters, and it's pretty pretty close to even, very low scoring, and uh, very intense hockey out there. Matthew, when um, real estate is so hard to come by out there, can individual players do more of to get an extra six inches or a foot? And also, what can the group do more of to get that same space? Well, I think we're getting, I think last game took a step where we're getting more shots and more action around their crease, um, and just got to do that early, get the lead. Um, it seems like the team that gets the first goaler that's playing with the lead's got a, a very good chance to win the game, so I think the start's very important for us. Are you seeing the right things sort of mindset-wise from your group in terms of how they're handling this? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're a very confident team. Uh, yeah, I mean, just they've won two in a row. We won the first one. I mean, it's, it's a series for a reason. We're, I have uh, more than enough belief in this group that, to know that we can come out of this, but can't come out of this unless, uh, you know, uh, we got to win three, they got to win two. I mean, that's just how it goes. We win tomorrow and get home ice back. That's all that's on our mind. Matthew, the, you know, you, everyone keeps talking about how important it is, how you guys play your best when it's five on five. Mm -hmm. There's so many four on fours yeah. and power, but are you guys rethinking the whole idea of constantly getting involved in these scrums and, and you personally getting involved with Klingberg and all these things? Is oh, I mean, maybe you should. I mean, last game I was wasn't expecting it, but I got chased around for the first second I got out there. So I'm like, all right, perfect. Uh, um, but I think other than that, I think we just got to get the lead. And if they want to, you know, play trippy, we can play that game. We can play a skill game. We can play any type of game. But um, I think our team is better suited five on five. But if we do get power plays, I I love our power play and I've loved it all year. So um, just all in all, confident and whatever comes our way right now. And there's a lot of belief in us and. Um, the way we play it over the course of a seven-game series, I could see us getting better and being more successful as the series goes along. So hopefully that uh, you know that comes true for us. There's always a debate about whether star players, like coaches are always asked, do you want your star players fighting? How, how important is it for you to just sign, kind of stick with the game that you've always played? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I know um, what makes me... Uh, what gets me going in games, and um, I know the way I need to play for this team to be successful. I know um, I kind of have to touch all aspects for that and just be engaged. And um, you know, I try to do that first first shift, show that how engaged I am. And um, I don't know, just I, I don't buy into that too much.